Hello everyone and welcome to an unboxing vlog. This one's going to be for the Carrera Vengeance. Very popular selling bike in the UK, produced by Halfords. You're going to need a few tools. You won't need a socket set, I made a mistake there, but you will need some Allen keys and a pair of side cutters or a good pair of scissors and also as you'll see a bit later on a 16 mil spanner so first of all you need to undo the box gently uh, using a screwdriver just pry open the staples don't use a knife take it easy and make sure you pick all the bits of metal up because that can be quite sharp and then you will see your bike inside which you need to lift out ideally with two people but you can do it on your own now start to cut off the cable ties with a pair of side cutters or a decent pair of scissors taking it easy not to damage the frame or the rubber of the tires carefully detach the front wheel just slide it out of the pedal and now you've got your main frame which you can start to get rid of all your bits of cardboard that are fitted on the bike to protect it in transit one of the questions i get asked is how do i set up the gears now the bike should come with the gears already set up uh, if you find yours aren't set up properly i'm not going to explain how to do that because there are people out there that do a lot better job than i do i'll put a link in the description below for some good websites that you can go and have a look at as you can see i went for the orange frame which um really bright i like it stands out nice and it's also another little help in safety to make sure you're seen when you're on the road so i'm just fast forwarding here i'm going to leave the cardboard on the forks for now just until i'm ready to put on the front wheel so i don't damage any part of this while i'm assembling the bike it's really easy to do this and you can do it yourself at home you don't need to pay someone to do it for you so the first thing I'm going to do is undo the bracket that holds the handlebars in place on the headstock, just undoing these bolts. There's four of them, undo them, put them to the side and make sure you keep hold of the washers, they're very small. And the reason I'm doing this first is so that once I've done top work I can turn the bike upside down, resting it on the handlebars in the seat and then assemble the front wheel with the quick release system. So now it's time to assemble the handlebars. You need to try and direct the cables in the best way possible so they're not snagging twisted wrapped around you know try and make sure they're free flowing and they're not going to get caught on anything or wear out prematurely so just take a moment to work out the best way for your handlebars to go making sure obviously that the gear levers and the brake levers are the correct way round, and that the brake levers are facing towards the bike front not the rear you'll find as well there's a little x marked on these handlebars which helps you align them to make sure they're central. You'd also note as well, as I do the nuts up once I've got this central, I do them in an X configuration, like a cross. Um, and I do that just to try and evenly uh, apply pressure onto the bracket. It's just something I do to try and give it an even fix. I just generally do my finger tight and then I'll go one corner to the next and do them up until they're nice and tight because you obviously don't want your handlebars coming loose when you're going down the road, even worse on a trail. Once you've done that, just go around the other Allen key uh, nuts, bolts, etc. Just make sure everything is done up nice and tight. Don't assume that all of these things have been tightened prior to them putting the bike in the box because you'll find a lot of them aren't. Just from a safety point of view, make sure everything on the bike is done up nice and tight, including the rear wheel. You don't want to get caught out on your first ride. Next I'm going to put the seat onto the bike, really easy, just take off the cardboard and then you'll see that there's a little cap covering up the hole in the tubular frame where the seat goes into. It's just a case of pushing that into the frame, getting it to a rough height to start with that you're fairly happy with. As it happens mine came perfectly set where the rear reflector is and then doing up the bolt that holds the seat in place, obviously making sure that the seat is absolutely straight in line with the frame if your seat's sitting to one side it's going to be uncomfortable and just feel strange so make sure that's right and then do up that bolt next are the pedals and you'll see that one has a clockwise thread and one has an anti-clockwise thread normally you would put tighten something up with a clockwise thread but the left pedal has an opposite thread when you think about it it makes perfect sense it's to stop the pedal coming off when you're pedaling along and this is where you're going to need your 16 mil spanner do them up with your finger tightness at first and then when you can't go any tighter get your 16 mil spanner hopefully you've got one that's not too wide so I you can get it onto the nut to tighten the nut up and do that up reasonably tight 
and then just repeat the process for the right hand pedal this time with a clockwise thread. Next job is to remove the plastic covers from the forks where we're going to put the front wheel on and then get the front wheel and align it with the front brake caliper so the disc needs to slot inside the caliper in between the pads. Next get your quick release bolt and get the springs on one side to start with. Now the springs will go on the outside of the metal of the fork so in effect it will be bolt goes through, spring goes on, the smaller end of the cone going on first, tighten up the nut on the opposite side, slowly rotate your quick release until it feels fairly snug and then close it and if it closes too easy it's not working properly you need to feel it go round and when it gets tight so you have to give it a bit of force to close it like this and that's it that's nice and tight ready to go now it's just a case of removing all those bits of cardboard that are left over and the bits of plastic off the frame and off the handlebars that I left on so it doesn't get damaged as I'm building it and you should find that you're pretty much ready to go just got to adjust the front reflector with a Phillips screwdriver to make sure that stays in place check the brakes are nice and sturdy go through the gears and make sure they're doing their job properly and make sure my bell was in the position I want it to be as well just a Phillips screwdriver and a case of tightening a few screws also as I've mentioned already go over the bike and make sure all the nuts bolts are all tight so that you know that you're safe and ready to go. Don't assume that they all are because they probably won't be. And there you have it, your newly assembled Carrera Vengeance, ready to go, ready for the road, ready for the trail. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, then hit the button below. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. And don't forget to share this post if you found it useful. Cheers.